Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. We're, we're doing a second shave today. Um, I didn't enjoy those rainbow blades. Like right here, I could see it was a little longer of stubble where I missed and, or didn't get it. I didn't miss it. I know I went over that area really well against the grain and it just, rainbow's just not the most efficient blades. And my boy Jeremy Tyler sent me the soap set. I'm very excited to get it. I do enjoy Talbot. And... Kate's Cove. We're going to do a little talking about this. So Kate's Cove, sorry for the backwards label. It's a pretty neat looking label. I think that's like sweet grass. Kate's Cove was a community in the Smoky Mountain National Park area and it was founded in the late 1700s and they still have like all the old cabins and stuff and you drive through, you can park, you can walk like a mile, go see the old homesteads and bunch of cool stuff. My grandparents used to take me there as a kid and my cousin. The family would go like every summer for years. And in my opinion, sorry, I'm moving the kid's stool out of the way. It's like stand in front of the camera. Always used to go here. Great memories. Um, we'll talk about scent notes real quick. Let me throw the brush in the water. I, I printed it out because this, this is kind of cool to me. So they say it's a delicious bouquet of sun-kissed sage grass wrapped in a honeysuckle that dried down into subtle summer sweet blackberries. Over time, very subtle notes of pine and green notes reveal themselves. So I'm not getting the pine and green necessarily because it's supposed to be as it dries down. So I take it, I'll pick it up more in the splash on the dry down. But you are getting a florally kind of a sage grass, not a sweet grass, but a sage grass like it's very familiar. I wouldn't say that it reminds me of Cade's Cove. Maybe it does. I just don't know. But it's a very familiar scent. We're just going to do like a pickup shave today. Um, as you can see, I pulled out the old rainbow blade while I was talking. We're going to use Gillette Super Thins. We're going to throw it in the Rockwell. We'll move the plate to five instead of six because I don't need the six really. Especially now. Make sure I throw those wrappers away. Or the kids will just see them on the counter in the morning. And they'll be somewhere else in the house later. So we'll load her up. Little overhang. I do enjoy the overhang. Yeah, we're using the uh, six shady. Kids are sleeping, so I'm talking a little low. If you look at the base, it's kind of shiny. You know? We watched Moana today, so Shiny makes me want to sing that damn crab song. If y'all don't know, sorry. Um, kind of got sniffles today. Allergy's still a little messed up. So, we're using the Teton Shaves. I think it's kind of matchy-matchy in the rocks, you know. Mountain, National Park. Kind of cool, so we went with it. We're going to tub load today. Probably shouldn't, because this is a soap I'm going to keep. I do enjoy the scent. I'm not going to say it's like... The best scent of 2021 so far I've smelled. Um, we'll see. I got other soaps coming in. CDB gifted me a soap. We're just tub loading a little. I don't want it too much, but I want the lather to look pretty good. So we'll just load a little bit longer because we're just doing probably one pass today, guys. So just need enough lather to make a good one. For one pass. We're going to do a touch-up pass. Talk about the scent. I do enjoy Talbot. Um, I, don't, I don't think they do splashes. They always team up with like Katie's Bubbles or Mal. And Mal's a good splash. And Mal has alcohol. It just doesn't burn. It's very skin foody. It's a, it's a good splash, but it doesn't burn. And I like the little burn. And maybe that's why um, I pointed out to someone Katie's Bubbles and uh, Talbot did Valley of Fire and West Coast Shaving still has them. They're not sold out. And I was like, dude, I can't believe this isn't sold out. It's a Jimmy Choo man dupe. And uh, I think David Gonzalez pointed out to me that he's like, yeah, dude, it's it's because it's not alcoholic splash and people prefer alcoholic splash. He's, he's not wrong, at least in my circles. Most of the people prefer an alcoholic splash, or at least to feel a little burn. Not all, but most. So there may be something to it, or, you know, 
It just could be perceived majority because of the people we're around. You know, anecdotal type thing. We'll just do some. I do enjoy the scent. I wouldn't recommend this to CDB. I don't even know that I'd recommend this to Joey. Um, I enjoy it. I don't know that I get the blackberries, but I get the sage grass. And it, it, the honeysuckle is more like Lakewood Soap Company honeysuckle scent I'm picking up. Not like SOH from a PAA. So, and if y'all know what that means, I, I feel Lakewood's is a little synthetic. And this smells a little synthetic as well. I don't think anybody's going to be able to do what PAA did. It's not me being a jerk. It's just nothing else. Honeysuckle scented, honeysuckle notes I found in any other soap smells like it. But this is still a good scent. I'll keep it. I like the name. I like the label. It's definitely more of a sentimental soap. And I do like the performance of this soap. It may not look like it's performing great right now, by the way. I'm lathering. We're going to add a little bit more water, though. Paying it in. But it's got a nice dense feel to it. I like density in it. I, I don't know if it's a tallow, though. Maybe I should look. Let's look real quick. Steric acid, water, tallow, glycerin. Yeah, we got tallow in there. I do enjoy my tallow. If you talk to Douglas at PAA, steric acid, steric acid, doesn't matter where you're deriving it from. You know, chemically it's the same thing. And you know, he's probably right, but I do feel like there's just something different. I'm just kind of scrubbing into the face today, down on the neck, working it in, lifting the hairs where I know I had more hairs left. But what do y'all think? Is this like somewhat decent? See, it's just latherbation for this video. I'll try to get it posted tonight, early morning. We'll see how it goes. But. Here we go. Got a lot of those Ecto Cooler soaps out. Still waiting for some people to hit me up. Get back in response with their address so I can quote shipping. But I think we're just, we're not far from being done filling all those orders. I just don't want to reach out to some of the other people because it's looking like I may have more people interested than is actually available at this point. And I mean, I was kind of hopeful, you know, at one point when I was thinking about it, that this would be a big hit of a soap and we could do a lot of them, but I never really expected it. Or I would have been pushing for Maddie to make a lot more, but we only made 30 of them. I mean, I can always make more, but if we make more this season, I don't think anybody's really gonna get it in time for summer months. So if anything, after this batch, We may just let it be and not have any more made. And him and I try to set up a release date for next year. That way they're ready, we'll have so many by summer, and then people can get them. Like invest in a run of 30 or 40 or something. Maybe. See if an artisan wants to make a splash for me. Commission that. Because there are some people like, oh, no splash, dude. I can't get it without a splash. If it wasn't me selling them, my boy Joey would be that way. If you don't have alcohol, he doesn't want to buy it.
If you don't have a matching splash, he doesn't want to buy it. And he's not the only one. I've ran into other people this way. It may sound crazy to some, but a lot of people are that way, more than you would think. Yeah, we're just going to hit the chin and this. Everything else is feeling gold. Just the chin. And under the chin. So scent wise guys, really nice scent. I know it's not sold out at West Coast. I got mine from the Razor Company, but West Coast popped up first when I just Googled. So it's what I clicked on. If it's at the Razor Company, I will put the uh, link to the Razor Company. And it's still available there. If it's not, I will link West Coast. Oh yeah, right through there. There we go. Now that was a banger of a shave. You see I still got some different spots, but I'm feeling clean on all these others, so I'm not gonna overshave it. We're gonna rinse up and we'll be right back. All right, and we're back guys. I'm trying to be a little bit of quiet. Like I said, don't wanna wake the kids up, but I wanted to get this shave in. So we're gonna put on the splash. Give it a good shake, cause it's got all those skin foodie oils and stuff in there. I hate the tops for these bottles. A&E, First Canadian, Mal. I hate these tops, people. Like, switch your bottles, please. And this does say denatured alcohol first, but every time I use it, I don't get a burn. We'll see about today. Like, I used tangerine earlier today. Mal. Okay, there's a little bit of burn to this one. There wasn't with the other one, but there's a little with this one. Feels good. Much better scent from the splash, a little different. It's that sage grass, that honeysuckle. There's you can smell a little bit of pine in here, just a little bit. That blackberry, maybe that's where I'm getting some of the sweetness from, but I don't know that it's blackberry that I'm really like picking up but maybe that's that sweetness I get like if you're the stallion you'll like the scent if you're me you'll like the scent uh, if you like florals you describe something as a granny floral you will probably like the scent like if you like those type things um, I'm very happy with it thank you Jeremy thank you for picking it up getting it to me I didn't order it Jeremy did so when I said I ordered it from the razor company that was a lie Jeremy ordered it, but I said that in the beginning, I believe, but we got a really good shave. My lather could have looked better. I was kind of rushing through, just wanted to do the video and get through, but Talbot does a real nice base. Um, Mal always does a nice splash. This one did burn a little, so maybe it's because it was the second time I'd shaved in like, I don't know, five, six hours. That's a good feeling on the face. So guys, thank you for watching. Uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, subscribe, comment below. I appreciate it all and y'all have a great day.